Hi everyone, in this session we will make soft body dynamics inside Maya application. So let's get started. Now what I will go, I will go to polygon and I will go to polygon tab and here you have a sphere. Now I will just drag a sphere and will drag this upward a little bit and go to input and here you have the subdivision axis height. So if you just put 55 and 55 that would be okay as we have increased its segments you can increase it as much as you can but make sure that your PC will not be hanged because directly affect your uh, CPU if you increase its axis and height segments so uh, after that we'll go to deformation and here you have a particular thing which is curve deformer if I click before I clicking I will just press 4 so that you can see it a wireframe and if you click here you will found a new thing will form inside it now what I will do I will just put R button for scale and will scale this up so that it will also blow so now I will select this part and what I will do will go to edit delete by type history now what I will do I will just select this part will move up a little bit and will go to end dynamics and here you have the end mesh which is create end cloth click over here now as you can see a new nucleus has formed this is the nucleus of this end cloth as if I play what you will see it's just going down and nothing happening see it's just going down and nothing happening so at first I will just increase my timeline to 200 then what I will do I will select this and will go to attribute editor and here you have the end cloth shape in end cloth shape you will find very much detail panels so at first we will focus on pressure so here is the pressure so I will just decrease its pressure I think 433 is fine minus 0 0.433 and after that what I will do I will just play one again so as you can see it's get synchronized and just falling into the uh, downward so I need to fall into the grid so what I will do I will go to nucleus and here you have the ground plane which is just below to gravity and wind so we will not using gravity and wind from here we will somehow use from our upward panel so we'll go to ground plane and use plane when you click over the use plane then you have the plane frequency also so I will just increase it little bit I think 378 is fine and if I click over here you will found that it's just fall to the ground so as you know that I am making a balloon I will press 5 for smoothen view so I need my balloon to be start from this position if I go here and just play as I need that my balloon will start from this position and will blow after that will float in the air so what I will do I will go to end solver and here you have the initial state so I will do set from current so in end solver you just found this particular one and here you have the set from current if I click as you see we are in 67 frame as when I click here now it will start from the first this is my initial state what I will do I will select this part and make sure that you will not change the pivot let it be and I will go to attribute editor and here you have the end cloth shape and after that what I will do I'll go to pressure tab so here we have the pressure make sure that you are in first frame and after that just click over here set key press 4 and we'll move forward 
desktop right click again set key will move forward and after that I will need to start blow my balloon so I will put uh, three let's see what happens and will set key let's see okay now I think it will blow and will go to but it's not going upward so what we have to do it's just coming back so now what we will do we will just select this and we'll go to field and here you have the air so we'll put the air here and after that in air field you will found one more thing is that its magnitude go to outliner and here you have the outliner and we will just select the air field and after that here is the magnitude so we will increase magnitude up to 25 enter as let's check so it's go going uh, I think top okay we have to increase the magnitude so I will put around uh, 45 let's check at first okay fine so what I will do I will select this part set key will put 0 and set key again will move little bit set key and will move now what I will do we will just increase it 45 and set key okay this would be fine I think let's see So I will click one by one. Will increase by. Will move forward. Will increase by. I think we need uh, sixty-five. And will set key. Now it's gone. and now we'll press 5 button and we'll go to sorry, polygon and here I have the plane so I will make a plane and let's make a plane because I have to add the thread also so this would be the plane and select this and go to channel box and here you have the input panel I will not increase the width I will increase the height and 65 so now go to object mode we'll select this uh, strip and we'll move uh, upward a little bit we'll put somehow over here and we'll go to create end cloth and make sure that your ground plane is being checked use ground plane okay fine we don't have to uh, uh, increase or decrease the plane bounceness or frequency friction so will move forward now it will just collide with that particular balloon and will fall and after that what I will do just pause over here so I will select this and will make initial state step from current now I will just select this part and do one more thing I will just select this area right click go to vertex select this part and 
here you have n corner strength and here you have the transform click over here now it's stick to the ground and what i will do next i will select this part right click hold your right click go to vertex we will select this area and we will shift select this area right click go to vertex and i will stick the vertex somehow from here by holding shift button and what i will do i will go to corner strength and component to component so now you find the two lines which is formed here so at first i will just select its vertex and will shift select and will right click go to vertex and will shift select both of them and will go to end corner strength and move to component to component now what happens see and there are lots many panel so we have to focus on a particular panel and so here I will just open my outliner so you have the nucleus the cloth which is applied and the air field the dynamic corner strength and the dynamic corner strength too which is been stick to the balloon so this dynamic constraint we don't require but this constraint we required so if i go here what i am finding let's see i will just put four for examine only and will put the grid off let's have a look as you can see it's not stick to its surface so we need to stick to its surface and here you have the constraint method we have the weld dynamic constraint attributes so let's see press 4 yeah, as you can see it's stick to its surface just move with it Press 5 as you can see here it's stick to its surface now let's have a look go to first frame and you can play by yourself if you need to tweak the value yeah you can do it if you need more pressure into uh, uh, the end cloth uh, system you can just put i will just pause over here now you have the idea that how you can create the balloons and how you can just put pressure and all so instead of having this you can also play with any other or even with your model also and you can also use textures if you want to use texture you just go right click assign new material plane and now it's applied to its surface now i will change the color to light blue so much more like this and we'll do the transparent also now you can see and you can also use the background or uh, just render this thing to have a good background into compositing software like this way you can also work so hope you have enjoyed it let's meet to the next session